Hi there, I'm Timothy Linsdale. I'm a video producer, a Christian, and an outdoorsman, and also a Parkinson sufferer. But what I'm, the reason I mention that is that I need a really warm bag because the cold weather affects my Parkinson's. So, but for anybody else, this is one of the best sleeping bags that you can buy is the Western Mountaineering Versalite. And if you would, like and comment on my video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, to support my channel, it would be great if you would. A number of reasons I chose this, this bag. Um, it is, the construction of it is pretty astounding. I'm going to move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing here. You can see how well that zipper works. Get this laid out so you can see the full bag. Nice uh, environmental color, screen, black. Okay, let's talk about it a little bit. It's got a full length zipper on it. And you also, now this is the full size bag, uh, which is um, six foot six and goes down to, I believe it's five, six. And um, you can order the zipper on either side of the bag also into different lengths so you want to be sure about that before you order it or wherever you get it it's a amazingly light bag it's only two pounds and yet it's rated down to 10 degrees which in most rec recreational environments you're going to be in it's going to be good enough unless you're really going to go into really much colder weather. Uh, Western mountaineering bags have amazing construction. Uh, the uh, they put Dacron tape on the zipper so it doesn't snag, which I love because snag zippers drive me crazy. It has a uh, a down collar on it. Let me open this up. See that right here? And it's also, um, you can tighten it up. So when you get in the bag, you can pull it up around you. And that seals around your, this area, you know, I'm not choking you, but it, it snugs up around you so that uh, the air doesn't move in and out of the bag easily and cool you down. And also, uh, there's a Velcro uh, connection or uh, velcro so that you can velcro that around when you get in the bag and then tighten that tighten that cord up and it's got a slip lock uh, catch there which works great I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the bag it has uh, 850 plus down in it which is the best down you can get for weight to warmth ratio uh, the only drawback with down, of course, is if it gets wet, it can't, uh, it doesn't have its insulating properties. But they use the, uh, uh, I'm going to look at, make sure I cover everything here, a Gore Windstopper 830 fabric. And uh, it's considered one of the best for outdoors activity because it's uh, weather resistant and, and, ver and very breathable fabri fabric, which is, what Gore is well known for. So that's very important. So it's a Gore windstop fabric. Membrane reduces the threat of condensation while remaining plenty water resistant for the needs of a sleeping bag. So uh, use a Gore windstop for sleeping bag in damp or extreme conditions to prevent moisture from reducing down performance. Okay, so there's Another example of what Western Mountaineering does. Also, they make this uh, baffle on the inside. Where the zipper's at, right? Zipper closes. You can see there's a extra baffle. And that lays down onto the baffles underneath. Lays on it. Rather than being on top, it 
kind of lays together to make a better seal in the bag. I, the more I learn about the construction of these things, the more I'm, I'm amazed. It, I don't, you can't really see it, but they also design the the uh, f the fabric down here in the boot area to be more uh, robust. Uh, in case, I suppose, if you're in the bag with your boots on. Um, I try not to do that, but it just depends. The 850 plus uh, filled power, power uh, goose down is the best that you can get. And that's what Western Mountaineering uses in their bags. So it, uh, it's going to give you uh, about uh, as good of insulation as you can get. Look how well that zipper works. Wow. So let's talk a little bit more about the bag. Told you about the weight. It has a six inch loft and a 10 degrees Fahrenheit rating. Um, five and a quarter inch spacing continuous baffles, as you can see. What else do we have? 20, 20 ounce down fill. Gives you an idea of the amount of down that's in it. It's amazing how soft that is. Um, has a 62 inch to 39 inch shoulder to foot girth and that's from here down to here and what else we got two pounds total weight Versalite is the warmest of the extreme light series that um, Western Mountaineering makes and uh, for a wide variety of uses Something I noticed when I went on the mountaineering site, I don't know if you can see that, and look and see where that bag is made. Made in the USA. That's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty neat. That's important to you, but <laughs> it is to me. I like that. So, we've got uh, the best down you can get, the best fabric you can get, and then you can get it in multiple sizes. There's a five, five foot six inch range. Um, and you have a, um, up a six foot range and a six foot six inch range. And I needed a longer one, I'm six one. So you wanna make sure you have a, all the length you need because anytime you start compressing down in an area on the bag, it loses its, its uh, insulation so that's important um, now you can go on their site to get all their sizes and that type of thing probably put you to sleep reading all that stuff so. <laughs> but let me unzip this thing here too well uh crawl inside it's that full length zipper i also read that you can uh, zip two bags together. Uh, I'm not even sure how that's done, but I've read about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Make it straightened around here. Uh, not exactly a spry old guy at 67, but not too bad. <laughs> see if I can move things around so that I, can, I just, I'm always amazed how good that zipper works. Now, I may, I'm going to pull the camera up so you can get a little better view. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up further. Get down so you can see how the collar works. Wraps around your neck and uh, stops that airflow. Okay, we'll get zipped up here. About to catch on fire, you know. <laughs> but uh, you can grab that elastic stretch, pull it around you. Uh, Get your hood head in the hood, which right 
greatly reduces your heat loss. And there you go. Ugh. Gotta get out of here before I catch on fire. <laughs> wow. Now this this bag is amazing. Uh, it's it's feather light. It insulates to the nth degree. The, the zipper probably makes me more happy than anything, of course. Being warm is a big deal, but I've got other sleeping bags that uh, that are a real pain when it comes to the zipper. You can definitely see the difference. And you can see the opening, and you can see that baffle. And uh, it'll st stuff in a stuff bag comes with it. It's also wise to use these bigger storage bags, and uh, because you want that loft as loose as possible, it's probably it's usually recommended best for um, uh, sorry um, to actually lay your sleeping bag out if you can anywhere. That would be a, a good thing to do. Let me move things back, try to give you a, a good view of the sleeping bag. Uh, let's see if I can get adjusted. Let me see most of it anyway. Okay, and that's the full six six bag. So anyway, so there we are. <laughs> That's Western Mountaineering's, excuse me, Western Mountaineering's Versalite bag. Only weighs two pounds, goes down to 10 degrees. It's feather light. Um, it's an amazing bag. Okay, that's the, again, that's the Western Mountaineering Versalite sleeping bag. Um, enjoy. <laughs> you know, you know, you just, you just, you know, you got to get out there. Enjoy life. Just, you know what? Have a great day.